Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of The Labyrinth of Time. Last time out, we used the screwdriver. So, last time out, we successfully restarted the game. Soft restart. We went back to where we ended episode one. Um, blitzed through a bunch of stuff, got the relevant keys, got the screwdriver. Screwdriver unscrewed and opened the door which put us onto a city street. We got a newspaper. The maid's going to need that. But then we got lightning zapped. Don't you know to look both ways when you cross the street? Something like that. And now we're at the bottom of a well. The literal instruction manual says don't go through that door until you have a light source, which I don't think we have unless the alien belt counts as one. So we may end up soft locking ourselves again but we do have a more up-to-date save file now in any case let's go and have a look, little look as to what we've got around here so we are in a surreal maze this time let's have a little look press this button no time for that you fail to move it you fail to move it you fail to move it it won't move Okay, fine. This maze appears to be too surreal to map. Wow. That, I, I literally just even hate looking at it. <laughs> right. So we are, uh, we came into this facing south. What even is this, you know? What even is this? I got a weird jitteriness on the mouse, actually. I'm assuming that's because of the... That's east. That's south. That's west. Ah. What is this, man? So, it loops. We are going to draw this out, right? We're going to draw this out. Um, we don't really have... Um, we don't... Yeah, we don't really have a... Be right back. Okay, we're back. And now I'm armed with a mirror board. So we're actually going to use, because we can sort of use the uh, the geometry of this, I think we're literally just going to use the integrated... Um, the integrated uh, user flow um, tool here. So we're going to start off in the TV room. Okay, and uh, out the bottom here is going to be our um, start, yeah? Right. TV room. We go up. That's going to take us to pff, bouncing pyramids. Yep, go up. Now, bouncing pyramids, we've got like a nice kind of color differentiation here oh and i tell you what actually no actually the direction we're facing is going to be kind of important so let's say that we start yeah no we're facing south at the beginning yeah so from the start we go to tv room from tv room bouncing pyramids um, from Bouncing Pyramids, we're going to end up in uh, Brick Arch Tear. Now, here's the thing. We also kind of know that this game does reuse assets quite a lot. 
like in the hedge maze and in the medieval maze, you can turn and not even realise that you're turned, right? But we are pretty convinced that this has um, dropped us back at the start, because we can literally get back to the start. So, Brick Tear Arch, that's going to end up going back to TV room. And this one here is um, blue. So, let's take the next one. Now, because this is a surreal maze, it's going to break all of the usual rules around, well, if you keep to the right, you will either end up back at the start or you will end up back at, you know, in the goal kind of rules. So, we're going to go west. Ooh, what is this? This is like bone arch, is it? Like, and you can go all all directions. We keep going west. We're going to get to the conveyor belt door. The ominous conveyor belt door. And you can go in any direction there as well. And that one drops you back to the TV room. I'm sensing a pattern here. Mmm. Yeah, okay, fine. So, TV room, bone arch, conveyor belt door. So let's face west. No, let's face east. This is going to take us to conveyor belt door bone arch right so this is reversible this one round here not reversible this one is fine so if we look at the bouncing pyramids then and now face west what do we call this ripple space yeah, and if we now face north, we're going to end up at Bone Arch. Fine. If we go south from Ripple Space... No, do you know what, actually? Let's, let's go west, yeah? Cog Path. And this will take us to conveyor belt land, yeah? Fine. So, go south here. Mirror balls. Yeah, mirror balls. So now if we face east, confetti spirals, and that takes us to brick arch, back to mirror balls. Confetti spirals going north, yeah. So all of this links up, there are nine rooms in total. Thank you. 
Is there some kind of hint in here about the direction to go? What? Okay, somehow we've ended up somewhere new. That's the exit. Well, I couldn't tell you, in honesty. Really couldn't. East of the Ziggurat. So this is, this is the ziggurat of legend. On a Mayan causeway facing west. On top of a ziggurat. Ah, oh, there's where, that's where we're trying to get to. Yeah. What floor are we even on? This is on the lower floor. Okay. Oh, interestingly enough. Ah, there's a door here. The door appears to be stuck. That door also appears to be stuck. Stuck is not a terribly helpful adjective. It has to be said. Okay. Well, now we have both doors open. You walk into a dark place. Right, this is where we need our light source. Ah, shoot. Oh, and there's no way back, because we're at the bottom of the well. So is this the soft lock then? Use it. Use the alien belt. It's too dark to go there. It's too dark to go there. No! Yeah, we don't, we don't have anything that's going to be able to be a light source here. I mean, the game manual did warn us. Did say, don't go through that door until you have a light source. So, the light source must be outside it. We could still venture in there to go and get the newspaper, though, couldn't we? Right. Do a little reload. I don't think we need to make a save, really, because we're, we're pre I'm pretty sure we're soft-locked here. So we're going to load slot number two. Okay, we've just opened this door. Now this is very much the similar, we're very much sort of where we were up to anyway, right? Where's my, where's my coins? There we go. Use that in here. Good. Open and take a newspaper. Good. Mm. 
that door is locked. Now, wait a minute. That was the wardrobe. Gold key was for... Hang on, I've forgotten. The iron key was for the jail cell. The silver key was for the detective's office. Oh, the gold key is for the um, is for the uh, the other room that we haven't been able to be on yet, right? Mm -hmm. So we can go here, but so we can look at that. But that's about it. One way. It says there. Private. And uh, this is if the owner wanted you to have his car, he'd have given you the key. Well, yeah, I don't really have much uh, much opportunity there. So. Back out to here, then. Now, we know that we can move this part of the bridge out, and that's going to crush somebody. But I don't think that gives us anything. I think it's just a reference to the Wizard of Oz, curiously enough. I'm not sure. Okay, let's use this gold key to unlock this door here. Light source is what we're looking for, then we can get to that ziggurat. Now we've got a three number combination. Which will get us into there. And we've then got... Drop off laundry and a newspaper for room 14. So we need to get laundry out somehow. That's a roll of paper. That's a mop. That's a bucket. <laughs> and that's a teapot. What would I want with that? I don't know. What would I want with a teapot? You know? <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's an unusual amount of um, attitude this game gives you, <laughs> frankly. Can I take the sign? No, fine. And that's the table I'm dropping this off on. Can I fish laundry out of the laundry chute? Right, because if I go... If I go and grab... The laundry... Instantly, let's do another save here. Yeah. So... We've not really done anything uh, to disrupt that one, so let's uh, take that slot. So we can close the chute. What would be the best thing for fishing something out of the laundry? I have no idea. You don't need to launder a sheet of paper. I'm kind of curious about what this sheet of paper is, though. Like, it's not just a sheet of paper, is it? It's specifically, it's a rolled up sheet of paper.
Am I supposed to be able to interact with it in some way? Don't know. I could use a bucket. This would be a terrible point in the game to introduce a mechanic along the lines of uh, like the room or the room two where you need to look at an item in your inventory and then you manipulate it from your inventory itself, you know? Um, hmm. Well, let's go through the obvious things that have a certain amount of reach to them. So, Elabrus. You don't need to launder Elabrus. Okay, we're using the alien belt. For some reason it, it got lost. It lost its use. Don't need to do it with a sheet of paper. Bucket. No, you don't need to launder a bucket. We fish it out with a broom. Don't need to do that either. Teapot, that's not going to do anything. I'm not even going to bother checking it. The other option is what is. Yeah, see, that's a dead end because that just is looking at the, at the thing, right? We're already on the middle floor, so the laundry chute is going to go to the lower floor. We didn't check that part out. Hmm, okay. We don't really have anything that looks like a key for any of our other doors. So we need, okay, we need a light source, yeah. And we need laundry. <laughs> a light source and laundry. Hang on, wait. Clean laundry or dirty laundry? And that's room 16. Wait. Wait, that's room 14. We're already into room 14. Now I'm really confused. Yeah, now I'm really confused because... So that's room 17, which just says, please do not disturb. This one, room 15. None of these can be opened. Those people do not want to be disturbed. Those people do not want to be disturbed. It's not just locked, it's literally like, don't disturb them. Drop off laundry and a newspaper for room 14. We're already in room 14. Hmm. Very curious. The other thing I'm kind of thinking about, the other thing I'm kind of mulling over. Uh, so do you remember? Have you ever seen the original Saw movie where actually um, the key is in the bathtub and then it goes down the drain right at the start of the film? Right at the very start of episode one, we did like flush the toilet before we actually like looked anywhere. And now I'm really paranoid that we've gone and, like, flushed a key away. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, man, this game makes you second-guess all of your decisions. Because, like, none of your decisions are safe to do. 
It's it's just mad, really. Uh, here, here, and then like there we go. <sighs> Key card this out. Where's my key card? Come on. Pop that in the slot. And then push the green button, I think we're going for here. So we've not been down this path yet, but there's nothing. Yeah, okay, there's nothing here. Is that anything? The other thing that I vaguely want to think about is um, the gramophone as well, because the gramophone is the same in both locations. It's the same gramophone. Is there a thing you're supposed to be able to do with the gramophone? Hmm. Think anything, I don't think there's anything relevant in there. Oh, I mean, you can't even like move it, take it. No, can't open it, can't close it. Do you know what? Maybe this isn't a building I'm trying to get to. Maybe that's the other side. Maybe I'm looking at where I was. And where I currently am standing is the building I was looking across to. Like, the laundry chute is over there. Because this is where I am, and that's where the laundry chute is. Hmm, okay, Cretion Hall. Is there anything we have that looks like it could fit in there? Is, does that look like a keyhole of some kind? I don't know. But you can't destroy a priceless artifact. Okay, you're now wearing the helmet, so you don't use the helmet in any other context. Oh, I'm scraping the barrel a bit here. Right, okay, and that's going to take me into the medieval maze. Now, having said that, we did have a question from one of the commenters... 
about maybe finding that gong again and seeing if we can't whack it with something to make a noise. Well, I, I originally said it looked like a shield. Okay, so let's go this way here. Aha, we walk forward. So we try to take it, you can't take it, you can't move it. So is it possible to say... There we go, it, it does make a ringing sound. Um, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Brilliant, but pointless. Okay. If I recall correctly, no. This is going to take us out here, and then we're back in here. Now, we did also get a comment on the YouTube about, are we supposed to play something? Now, I've never actually used a jukebox before, so I didn't realise that the buttons were on the top. I think the comment said. Complete waste of energy, apparently. It's a bit hard because we can't get any closer to it. I, I guess the buttons are here, are they? You usually use move to press any buttons. So no, I'm afraid that does not look like a promising um, a promising option hat stand you don't need it oh but I do need it oh but I do What is it? It would be really nice if the um, game was a little bit more descriptive about what you are looking at. Like, why is... Why? Why this? Not sure. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at there. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky. We don't need to go through the hedge maze again. Right, hedge maze just buzzes us up here. So that's a train door that we can't open. That just leads to Excalibur, which becomes available through some lever combination. That's a pathway to the pyramid. This one here is a three number code that's going to teleport us to the bottom of the well now interestingly enough there is a locked door on the right here which doesn't really appear on the map there's a locked door here which doesn't really appear to have a keyhole I don't know. One, two here, one, two here, 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 here. 
Right, that's where the uh, helmet was. basically go all the way to the end because it's that way you then want to go no that way you then want to go nice hmm This is genuinely a pretty tricky one. I guess those levers is the next thing to be um, thinking about. Right, like what do the levers do? Well, Well, we know that some combination of the levers uh, removes Excalibur for us. But I have a feeling that... We're going to need to fiddle with this. Now, we can pull the first lever down and we know that that doesn't actually block us anywhere. And maybe that's the one to pull. We're definitely going to save the game here, though. Like, 100%. And uh, let's take the Hotel Facing East save slot, and we'll save the game. Save the game here. So, we're in slot two. Remember, we're in slot two. Okay. Well, my friends, we've reached the end of today's episode. Next time out, we're going to experiment with these uh, levers some more. I have a feeling that maybe we can pull all three once, as long as we don't put them back. Very unclear what lever number two and lever number three do, in honesty. But we'll experiment with that next time out. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I will see you soon. Bye for now.